Hey guys, so today I have been doing furniture and I'm trying to agree on my color scheme for my sitting room. It is scratching my brain. Originally I was going with like a deep red with a brown and a white, then with like a splash of mustard out of nowhere. Now I'm now I'm in the blues and grays. I'm all over the place. I'm on Pinterest and Pinterest is nice, like it like it can be confusing because there's so many options, things you want, ideas I have in my head, and I kept saying Linda, this is just a rental, you just want something that's nice and cute and cheap. Decide. But it's like oh, there's so much to choose from. And then, gonna choose quickly because I want to build shelves I have so many books and sometimes when I want to read a book it's hard to find and this is kind of like my office stroke studio now this is like a second bedroom in my room and there's also a lot I want to do with it I want to put up some shelving at the back here so much to build and I just need to decide on this color scheme I feel like the color scheme is somehow holding me back Tomorrow I'm going to go early in the morning, try and line up at KCCA, try and get some drawings. There's just so much going through my mind right now. I'm like, oh, there's so much to do, so much to do. But I'm like, stay focused, do one thing at a time. Last night I was talking with my husband and I mean, the problem of being multi-talented and multi-skilled is that you want to do everything at the same time. And sometimes you feel the pressure of you have to choose which one you want to do and yet you're passionate about many things. And so I was like, you know what? I don't feel like you need to choose. I feel like you need to you need to just prioritize what you want to do now and then do the others with time. Like you said, like a time schedule, like now this is my season to do to pursue this. But I don't feel like you have to choose one and stick with it. That's what I was just feeling. So much to do. As in, there's just so much to do. I find like I'm so busy that I become stuck. Have you ever been so busy that you feel like you can't do anything? Like you're now stuck because you're too busy and then you don't do anything. You know? But they call it jack of all trades and master of none. So I'm trying to do one thing at a time. Like today I'm only doing furniture. I'm not going to do anything in regard to my practice or da da da. I'm just building furniture today. Then tomorrow I'm going to chase. Um, some stuff at KCCA and just set up some stuff for my company like that that's the only way I'm going to survive otherwise it's just too much to do so thank you guys for watching I hope you continue to um, subscribe, like and share because I really sometimes don't know what I'm talking about I feel like this is just therapy like I'm talking to a camera talking to people I don't know but some I know but it's just the thing I will for me to align my thoughts because as I talk to you, I'm actually now refining like actually I should do only that today. Uh -huh. Yeah, I bought these fancy lights. <laughs> I haven't yet used them. Don't look at the, the mess behind there. But I plan to use them like to create this kind of studio. I have this backdrop. I haven't yet set it up. Sometimes I laugh at myself because I'm like half the stuff I put myself in. I don't know. Oh, and then I have like a nice chair and a table that my mom in law got for me. And I feel so special. And do 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 do. I want to do a tutorial on makeup. I'm not wearing any now, as you can tell. But like, I get a lot of compliments when I wear my makeup. Um, I don't know if that's something you guys would want to see so you can just like comment down like yeah we want to see your makeup routine uh, and the products you use because i don't really use a lot of products like i don't have what primer or what, what i have very few things but you know i know how to hustle and make stuff work oh there's some guys who are constructing just next to me and they are a storage building so they can see right into my compound and they just keep staring at me. I think they're like, oh my god, is that a girl painting wood? What is she doing? So the guy just looked at the guys and I was like, can I help you? They're like, no. And they just started staring. 
And I was like, trust Ugandans to be shameless. <laughs> no shame. <laughs> Please, no shame. Anyway, let me go and do this, um, these shelves. I need to vanish. I think for me, the hardest thing about building sh is vanishing. Like, I don't mind joinery. I love joinery. I love even nailing, drilling. Oh, vanishing is like, not vanishing, sorry. I'm confusing my stuff. Um, what do they call it? When you use sandpaper? Sanding. Sanding. Heck, I caught on. Sanding. I don't like sanding. Later on, I want to buy like a real table sander. Because the stuff was so easy when I was in school. Like the sanding machines there. You just, literally just hold the wood and the thing does everything. And just do it in shapes and move on. Anyway, I'm ranting. Let me go back to work. Remember to subscribe and like and put on the notification so that every time a video i drop a video like you'll get a notification on your on your youtube like oh linda's dropped a video uncle tv has dropped a video it kind of just makes stuff a bit easier so that because sometimes some people ask me like i don't see you doing videos anymore and i'm like i drop a video like every week Actually, i drop two videos every week what are you talking about because the notification is not on so Press, press, press the notification. It's like a bell down there. I know you know it. I know sometimes I don't do notifications because I don't want to be bothered. But, yeah. Let me bother you. Bye.